The sisters find a powerful inner peace through their prayer life, which is steeped in the spirit of the Carmelite tradition. This tradition, rooted in the rule of St. Albert, first began in the silence and solitude of the hermit community of Mount Carmel in Palestine. It is a life centered in the Eucharist and pondering the Word of God, a life in imitation of Mary, Mother of God, Saint Elijah, Carmel's spiritual father, and the many saints of Carmel. It is a life of contemplation, sought in personal communion and unswerving allegiance to Jesus Christ, and expressed in the love and service the sisters give to each other and the residents under their care. It is a life of prayer and action. From this rich Carmelite heritage, the sisters draw forth the ideals that point to the summit the strength to carry out the mission entrusted by Jesus, and the love that makes the difference. Giving all the time is good, but you need to take care of yourself in order to do that, you know, physically and mentally. Sometimes when it gets tough, you just automatically turn to the Lord and say, help. <laughs> and um, when things are joyous, you kind of turn to the Lord and say, thank you. So there's a lot of helps and thank yous that go on during the day. The forms of prayer might change in the course of, of your religious life. Prayer may not just mean a place, may not just mean a formula of, of prayers, but prayer should always be there. And to just sometimes sit in his presence without saying much, to just be in that stillness and to be to be there and to allow the Lord to embrace me and to renew my heart. He's always with us, even though we don't feel it sometimes. The feeling is in everything. It's the believing. The sisters have a joy and happiness that truly sets them apart. Many who meet the sisters for the first time share the same opinion. We have a lot of laughs and I think that was important when, you, when you're discerning process, um, looking at communities and I saw a lot of laughter, a lot of joy, and that drew me. I thought, this group is a happy group. I don't think anybody would be attracted to us if we, you know, walk around moaning and groaning and gloom and doom. It's a tremendous, a tremendous grace to have a sense of humor. And I think that's a, another sign of, of God's blessing, that he allows us to enjoy and to laugh with one another. Like um, St. Patrick's Day, we had a wonderful wonderful evenings that everybody is still talking about what a lovely community evening it was when we got together and celebrated. You know, we, we pray hard, um, we work hard, but we also play hard, and uh, there has to be a joy in what we do. Just to be able to relax around the supper table, and um, you can forget about the, the difficult hours that preceded it, and um, share, and all of the joys and the sorrows of each day with your sisters in community. The sister has always been there and um, they are truly carrying the person of God there in them, in each of the sisters. You know, they give me so much courage. The support of community, not only in, you know, with, you know, deaths and funerals, but also on celebrations with jubilees, um, birthdays, feast days. It's nice, it's, it's life-sustaining. Glory be to the Having answered the call, none of these sisters can picture doing anything else with their lives. They also know that the original call is sometimes hard to hear. For women nowadays, it is very hard. It's hard to get the quiet to discern. It's hard to turn off the busy activity of the world and just sit quietly and, and listen. For many women, a decision to enter religious life can be wrought with fear. What will be asked of me? What will my future hold? We don't mind plunging into projects that have shapes and forms and we're sure of how they're gonna turn out. But there's always a risk with, with religious life and with following God because you just don't know what form and what shape it would take. It's so natural to have the, the initial fear and trepidation and it's a whole new learning curve for, for all of us. And, you know, there's bound to be bouts of homesickness and moments maybe of, well, you know, did I, did I make that right choice? We do have a process where in our formation within our community that you discern this. 
So you do have an opportunity to kind of see what community life is with our prayer life and putting it into action, which is our mission. And God is very gracious and very kind and very, he has our interest firsthand before we even think of ourselves. Be open to what the Lord is offering you and don't say no if, if an, an inkling comes into your mind, you know, this is what the Lord wants for me, to be open to that challenge and to be open to receiving many graces and blessings um, as a Carmelite sister for the aged and infirm because it is a wonderful life. And it is truly a life that these special women would not want any other way. No matter what the day brings, the Carmelite sisters feel that their life, united with God, is sustaining morning, noon, and night. I'll be in 40 years in September, and I have just always felt that this is what has been my, my life, to be a Carmelite sister. Our community is so filled with the aspects of our Carmelite spirituality, Mother Angeline's charism, and also the aspect of community life living together. That really helps to renew the energies and uh, face the next day with great love and joy and please God the, the generosity in our hearts to keep going forward. Because we're all on a different journey. We resonate that, we commune with that, we sit with Jesus with that. And then hopefully, in whatever we do during the day, I am no longer just a nurse. If I'm just a nurse, then I really don't belong here. I could do that on the outside. I should be a Carmelite sister first. It's the happiest I've been. I can say yes to, to, to God. I've said yes to God to, in many times in my life, and, um, but to really say yes and, and to give that away give that joy away. And we're gonna fall and we're gonna get angry once in a while and we're gonna get discouraged and depressed. But deep down in my heart that this is the life I want, you know, that sometimes your mind is wandering but your heart is very still and at peace with God. You don't know, you can't put it into words, but you just know that deep in your heart that this is what, what is right. You can't even light a candle to it and it's in a way that one does not expect and we don't always realize. I've never had a dull moment <laughs> and I've never really had a, a moment of regret. I, I have felt that um, it really has been an adventure with the Lord, that I've done things through my religious vocation, through my life and community that I probably never would have had the joy of doing or of sharing a life of commitment with many other wonderful women. The difference is love. You know, we all are God's hands, His feet, His eyes, His, his ears, His heart. And the love just abounds because each of us carries that within us.